It's time to clean the leather. And we have two of these chairs. And honestly, mine mine's dirtier than my husband's. <laughs> so there's my husband's. And up close, I could tell his is a little cleaner. Yours truly likes to have her evening snack in her leather chair. And apparently, I have left some snack on and in my leather chair. So we're gonna clean this baby, and you guys are gonna love this. So. Yeah, that one's mine, the food. So I'm just gonna take a damp and viral cloth and just quickly get that food, stuck on food. I have no pride. I'm gonna tell you guys the good, the bad, and the yucky. All right, so I just wiped the food debris off. Now we're gonna polish this baby up. And I'm gonna use the Norwex Leather Cleaner, okay? Here is, this is, an, this is so good. Like I have used this on my husband's leather work shoes, brought them back to life on belts, purses, in the car, on a, the car seats. So this is what it looks like. It's leather shine and it has beeswax, canuba wax, all good ingredients. And what I love about this is it's an all-in-one container, which means I don't need any Norwex cloths with this. Everything is right here. So the comes with directions. So there's the fold out direction. I actually, I've had this one container for two plus years. Um, and right inside it has instructions and it says, you dab the black side of the applicator into the leather shine um, and to clean the leather and then flip it over and use the other side to polish. That's what we're gonna do. So I love that it comes with the applicator. I just keep it all in here. So here's my applicator. So we're gonna dab the black side into the product. And guys, when I tell you this smells good, like it is one of my favorite smelling Norwex products ever. Um, so it smells so good. And this isn't just to clean leather, this is to condition leather. So if you want it to last longer, look better, it doesn't have to be dirty to use this. Um, what I found in my vast life, <laughs> 50 years, leather cleaners can actually be pretty harsh on our leather, break them down, cause cracks because they're drying. This will not dry it. In fact, it infuses moisture into leather. So we're gonna get to work. I've got my black side. This is two years old, guys. So I've got my black side. I'm just gonna dab it right in there, get a little bit more, and I'm gonna go to town. So in this video, I think I'll just work on the seat and then we'll do a, a comparison. So we're just going to rub this all over. I think I might need a little more. It's a pretty big space. Really get that on there. There we go. All right. And the black side is kind of, you know, text, it's like a textured sponge. So it really gets holds on to grip pretty good. And then after I clean and condition one side, or with the black side, I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna do, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna take the white side and polish it. Woo, it's like a shiny new car. Mm, and it smells so good. And I actually recommend that you do this on your leather like every few months just to keep it in great condition, like to moisturize that leather. So here is my husband's seat. And here's the one I just did. Let's see if we can tell any difference. Ugh, try to manage that. Oh, obviously, look at that. This is the one we just did. This is hubby's. Huge difference. All right, now we're gonna just set that to the side. And what off, off video, I'll do the sides and the back of this. But I wanna focus on the, the whole chair on the video. So I'm just gonna dip it back in. Start at the top. Mm. My whole house smells good right now from this. So I'm just gonna work in sections. I'm gonna take the white side and polish it up. It's actually a pretty fast process. So easy and fast, 
the name of my game today. Going back to the black side, we're gonna do this next section. So can you guys tell it? Yeah, you can tell a difference between those two. Here we go, a little bit more. And uh, the size of the applicator is really easy to work with. I'm flipping it over to the white side. And what I notice is that this, these good oils, the beeswax, the canuba, it, um, it absorbs into the chair quickly. So it doesn't feel, you know, greasy or slimy or anything. It really feels good. So now I'm gonna do the arms, which are heavy traffic areas. And that's about how much I'm putting on for each section. Woo, this is already down here. And this, it's my own fault. I snack in this chair at night, so it is all my fault. Ooh, that looks so much better. Okay, I'm gonna do the last section over, actually maybe I'll do this. quickly get that. Now I'm going to do the other arm. And I can tell a nice difference between the shine on this and this. And leather is expensive, so we want to take care of it and give it the attention it needs, right? Okay. Move this over. Actually, see something maybe probably chocolate <laughs> on the footrest. Don't ask me how there's chocolate on the footrest, but I'm sure I've had my fair share of chocolate in this chair. All right, so I got that off. I'm just going to finish shining it up, cleaning it up. I'm gonna flip it over to the white side. Polish. All right, so let's do a side-by-side -side before and after. Hey, Erica! <laughs> All right, so if you just joined, oh, you guys, my hands smell so good. Um, so I'm using the Leather Shine. So it cleans and conditions. So even if it's not dirty, you wanna do this every once in a while. All right, and we're gonna put the cushion back. Oh my gosh, I can tell such a big difference. Let me get my phone off the stand here. I'm so excited. I may just do mine, see if my husband can tell. So there's nice close up, looks so much better. And here's the one that I haven't done yet. I mean, look at that, shine completely different. Wow. Maybe I should make my husband do his. Looks like a brand new chair. Yeah, I might do the sides a little bit more. I think I see a little debris down there, but I was going quick on the sides. So leather shines great. Use it not just on leather furniture. If you have a leather couch, this is great. Um, it conditions to protect. This is what happens when I clean, guys. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And it ends up being like six hours later. So um, great way to just maintain your leather for lifelong. Um, so I would recommend doing it every few months and then spot clean as needed. Great hack for your shoes, for your purses, belts. My boys both have to wear a belt to school, a leather belt. Kids are, kids are dirty. So I will clean their belts every once in a while and they look like new. So have a great day. I am gonna enjoy my chair, finish the spots that I haven't done. Let's see, does not feel greasy at all, smells good, win. I'll see you guys later.